What's up guys, so um, I'm gonna try desperately to keep up my regular Thursday schedule this time. It's gonna be kind of difficult with classes coming up, but I mean, when it comes right down to it, these videos really don't take that long to make, and I think I can manage it. If not, I'll just move my upload date over to Sunday again, but I'll see what I can do. I'll make no promises at, uh, as of right now, but this could be another one of my videos where, you know, I make an unfounded claim based upon, upon little evidence other than my own circumstantial experiences based upon anecdotal information. So, uh, without further ado, um, I made an interesting discovery recently because I, um, I mean, it's been determined at this point that, you know, I, I'm not actually an alcoholic. I thought I was, but, uh, I just, I'm, a, I'm out. I'm what my uh, psychiatrist termed a pre-alcoholic because I'm actually able to stop if I want to. And one day, just out of curiosity, out one one of my non-drinking days, I decided to uh, try out um, a a non-alcoholic beer just for the hell of it. And thankfully, uh, Japan has some really good non-alcoholic alcohol. In fact, I had to check the label several times on not just you know their uh, their non-alcoholic beer, but like their their non-alcoholic like wine coolers and shit. But because uh, it tastes just like alcohol, but. Uh, and I discovered that um, it was interesting because I assumed all this time that uh, alcohol was stopping me from having panic attacks. But actually, I had the same effect whenever I drank non-alcoholic beer. And, you know, at first I was thinking, you know, maybe it's just, you know, the placebo effect or I guess not really the placebo effect because I knew what I was doing. But maybe my body assumed that, uh, that you know, the consistency that resembled alcohol meant that alcohol was in my system. But the same effect actually happened when I drank soda water. It actually put, it actually relaxed me. It put me in a point where I felt safe and wasn't gonna have a panic attack. And that got me thinking, like, you know, I wonder how, how many people that's true for. Cause you know, for me specifically, cause I drink beer usually. When I drink wine, I don't have the same effect unless I'm drunk. And it got me thinking, you know, why is that? Why would carbonation make me feel that way? And it made me think back to when I was a kid, you know, not to give too much away, but whenever I used to relax myself and, you know, reward myself with soda a lot. And it makes me, cause you know, if there was soda in the house, you know, I knew everything was okay. You know, I used to always say, you know, that the, the, the refrigerator looked happy when I saw a bunch of, you know, you know, reds and blues and greens and shit. And it was the same, you know, like when there's chips in the, in the fucking, uh, in the cabinet. And I think as I've gotten older, you know, I don't drink soda anymore. I think I replaced soda with alcohol to a big, you know, to a large extent. So, you know, I wonder how many people can relate to that. You know, how many people that think they're addicted to alcohol actually are addicted to carbonated water? I mean, this could, you know, just be specific to me and, you know, maybe I'm just making unfounded claims like I usually do, but, you know, I just got, it just got me thinking and I thought it was interesting, so I made a video about it. But, you know, I'm always happy to make myself a guinea pig for my little experience, so I think that's gonna be it for this video. I really, surprisingly, don't have much else to say about this and I feel kind of stupid. But it's okay, so as always, if you like my video, subscribe. If you like my music, buy it. And if you hate me, tell everybody. Out.